Resistance feeds on fear. I love Stephen Pressfield's categories of fear. From his book, The War of Art, and he asked the question, but what is fear? He says, fear of the consequences of following our heart. As I mentioned in part two, when you're in the sheeples, when you're falling around, you're not following your heart. You're only following your heart outside of that. If you're identified here, when this is territorial, this is where you want to be in life. As he says, fear of consequences of, of following our heart, fear of bankruptcy, fear of poverty, fear of insolvency, that's the money thing, fear of groveling when we try to make it on our own and groveling when we give up and come crawling back to where we started. Fear of being selfish, of being rotten wives or disloyal husbands, fear of failing to support our families, of sacrificing their dreams for ours. Fear of betraying our race, our hood, our homies. Fear of failure. Fear of being ridiculous. Fear of throwing away the education, the training, the preparation that those who love, uh, we love have sacrificed much for, that we ourselves have worked our butts off for. Fear of launching into the void, of hurtling too far out there. Fear of passing some point of no return beyond which we cannot recant, cannot reverse, cannot rescind, but must live this cocked up choice for the rest of our lives. Fear of madness, fear of insanity, fear of death. He goes on to say those are serious fears, but they're not the real fear, not the master fear the mother of all fears that's so close to us that even when we verbalize it, we don't believe it. Fear that we will succeed. That's what Marianne Williamson said, which I mentioned in part two of this series. What stops us then from reaching our destiny? Not what we pretend to be, but our destiny, what stops us from that? I've asked a lot of people that, I've asked psychologists, I've read a lot and th thread, threaded throughout all of those answers. You may have your own answers. Oh no, Mike, I know why I fear poverty. I know why I fear going after the big dreams. I know why I grovel about starting some, knowing that if I fail, I'm gonna be back where I will. I know why that, well, it's a feeling where you say to yourself or verbalize it or internalize, you say, I'm a mistake. That's pure shame. I was asked once if I knew the difference between guilt and shame. Guilt is where I, I made a mistake and I feel for it and I'm willing to make up for it. Shame is different. Shame is where you say, I am a mistake. I'm not enough my dreams don't count. Think back in part one of this series on this subject about our school systems or the family system growing up. Did, did you give up your real self for the benefit of the system or the culture around us? After all, in that young state, you were not mature enough. You didn't want to rock the cart, you didn't want to stand out, you didn't want to be seen, you didn't want to rock the boat, if you will, and so you gave up who you were for the betterment of the system. When people are in that sheeple crowd, they have given up everything to be like everybody else. God forbid that you stood up, God forbid that you got out because you're gonna be attacked. You're gonna be mocked, scorned. This is society. This is why the sheeples of the world, this left and the right, if you will, whatever you wanna call it, they're just at each other's throats. Over what? Over the fear that they have that they're gonna be different, the fear that they're gonna actually matter and succeed. 
click below and download my what's holding you back question. It's unique. I spent a lot of time with that so that you could quickly answer 15, 16 questions during development stage of your life and then where you reflect and you journal some things to where you're gonna find out if shame is a part of your existence. If shame where you have a feeling, maybe you've never verbalized it, but I can tell you it's real. So many people have it. You think of the income strata in our country. 43% of all Americans make less than 25,000 bucks. 43%, 25,000 is poverty level. Not, not much better, 70% of all Americans make less than 50,000 a year. And this is why seven out of 10 people are in survival. Think about this, seven out of 10 people are probably here. Only 9% get out and earn 100,000. Now, some of those 100,000 are sheeple. Many of them are out here. This is where the magic happens. In here, you got shame, you don't feel good about yourself, even though you might not internalize, but this is what causes perfectionism, people pleasing. This is what causes you have to perform. This is what causes you to act out in maybe like an addiction. Things that you hide, you pretend, you give little lies, you try to one-up people. Not over here. Download that questionnaire. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.